guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome make sure to subscribe and also to turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time that I upload a new video okay so today I'm here to do kind of like a part two or a second version of one of my most popular videos and that is how to embed your prototype in your portfolio or in on your case study so the first video that I did I mostly showed the entire process for using Adobe XD and I did get a couple comments that wanted me to you know finish through uh, finish showing the entire process for Figma because I did start how to show it on you know that video but I didn't go through the entire thing because I thought it was you know pretty similar and pretty like easy since I did the first um, since I did the Adobe XD one but I am going ahead to do a separate video just for Figma just so you know those that want like you know a start to finish one can have this version to refer to so without further talk without further ado let's just jump right into the tutorial Okay, so I'm going to be using my project um, Zoe's Cafe to show you this because that I did that one in Figma and this is not a real life project, it's just something that I made up and so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with this one, alright? So let's get into it. So once you open up your file, you are, so you see a share button right here. That's not where you're going to go because if you share it from here, it's only going to show your uh, prototype with the entire screen. It's not going to show it in the form of it being like being viewed on a laptop or being viewed on like a phone or specifically how you want it to show. It's just going to show the entire page, page by page. So you don't want to share it from here. What you want to do is to click the play button, okay? So that way you can um, choose how you want it to show and how you want it to display when you embed the code in your portfolio. Okay, so it's loading. Let's give it time to load. Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, so this is how I have it set up to, you know, to show as a prototype. So I think to change the settings, like obviously when, once you come here, option, you can change how you're viewing it, right? So I have mine to set to view this way, like, you know, you would view it on a laptop if you were um, browsing. So you come here and then you click share prototype, okay? So share prototype, and then you make sure that this is set to can view. You don't want to set it to can't edit because your portfolio is going to be viewed by the whole world and you don't want people to be able to edit your, uh, your work. So can view, and then, anyone with the link because again it's going to be on your portfolio you don't want it to be restricted to certain people um, and then I get right here down here it says get embed code so I click that and then I copy all right I copy that so then I go over to my portfolio right here I use Squarespace so again you got to make sure that whatever platform you're using to host your portfolio has the capabilities of embedding code and so I come here to my project and I click edit, okay? Um, then I go down to where I want to insert the prototype. So I already have it here on my portfolio and I don't wanna mess up with anything so I'll just create another one. So I hit the plus button here. So for those that have Squarespace, you know, you hit the plus button here. And then you don't want to you don't want to select code again. No, you don't select code because code selecting that code would just open up a text editor for you to you know code your own stuff. But you want to hit embed right because you're embedding uh, code in here. So you want to click embed, and then you click embed data right here, and then you you paste. Okay paste what you copied and then you're gonna see that it's you know kind of starting to show up here it's taking time my internet is just running slow today I don't know why uh, but as you can see it's loading okay <laughs> oh gosh okay so it's loading All right, so here it is, it's showing right here, right? So when people come here, they will be able to view it this way. Um, and I do have mine set to a little bit bigger. So 
let's see. The width, I did 1,000 and then the height is 650. So again, you can change the size of how you want this to show. And the one I already have on my portfolio is 1,000 width and then height is 650. So let's see, I can replicate that here. You click again, you click this box. It's going to come up with a pencil. You edit it, you go to the code. See, the size that um, Figma gives you is 800 by 450. So if you wanna change it, you just go in there and change it to 1,000. Oh, whoops, <laughs> 1,000 and then I think it was a 650. All right. So yeah, whatever size you wanted to show, that's you can fix that. So that's how I did mine. And as you can see, it's just the same as what I had in there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you embed um, the code in there. And obviously, you, once you're done, you're gonna save it. But I'm not gonna save it because it's gonna mess up with what I already have done. So discard changes and that's pretty much it so it's the same thing even if you have um, a app design it's the same process again just make sure that you, you click the play button first before you share or else it's going to share the, the entire screen without it showing more of a you know like a mock-up type thing all right that's it guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I will catch you guys in my next video. All right, bye.